Hey guys, welcome back to week 10 of the Pokemon Premier League. This week against Slyro and the Pittsburgh Pyroar. Pyroar? Pyroar. Uh, <laughs> he's my friend. Have a, I'll have a link to his channel in the description below. But let's get on with my team. Now we have my team. Spray Bay the Kingdra. 252 Special Attack, 252 Speed, Timid Swift Swim, Life Orb, Ice Beam, Surf, Draco Meteor, and Hidden Power Grass. With... Swift Swim and the Rain Up, he has base 300 speed, and it's fucking outspeeding everything and can do major damage to all his Pokemon. Now we have RT Drizzle, the Politoed, uh, Bold, 252 HP, 252 Defense, um, Drizzle, Damp Rock with Surf, Endeavor, Ice Beam, and Focus Blast. Endeavor's there in case he wants to bring in Arcanine, and I'm already at low HP. I go for the Endeavor. Hopefully, that catches him off guard, and he goes for a sunny day, and I'm possibly able to... Go for a surf and kill his uh, Arcanine, or get it low enough to where sunny day, uh, a sunny day morning sun doesn't kill me. Now we have Costello as our late game sweeper. He's Adamant Moxie Choice Scarf, 50, uh, 252 attack, 252 speed. This will be able to take out the Shaman after I get a Moxie boost up, and he's uh, physically. If that's if he's physically defensive, it takes two Brave Birds. Uh, this takes out the Metacham no matter what. It can also one shot the. Uh, the uh, Noivern, if he brings it, it does a lot of damage to all his Pokemon. If I get a Moxie boost, it'll destroy his uh, Arcanine unless he goes out and brings an Intimidate uh, and, you know, intimidates me. And at that point, I'd be hoping I have Moxie, but uh, other than that, not really. Uh, now we have Gudra. He's 252 HP, 252 Special Defense, Sassy, Sap Sipper. This is to prevent any of his grass types from going for Leech Seed, Sleep Powder, any grass move that destroys my team. Sap Sipper is amazing. Um, if I get that attack boost and go for an Earthquake, it'll probably do a decent amount to his Arcanine. Um, but then again, Dragon Pulse, I feel like, does more unless he's specially defensive. If he's physically defensive, then awesome. But I'm expecting him to bring a Choice Bandit Arcanine because it's crazy. Now we have Yumad the Scizor. No question mark this time. 252 HP, 252 attack, and 4 defense. The Adamant Technician Life Orb. Standard Set, Bullet Punch, Bug Bite, Sword Stance, and Deep Fog. This is just to eat some hits, get some priority up, and get rid of hazards. Which I fully expect him to bring. He has the option for screens. He has the option for spikes. He has the option for stealth rocks. So that really sucks. Um, now we have Remember Me. A standard Focus Sash. Mammal Swine Set. 252 HP. Two uh, not HP. 252 attack and 252 speed. Stealth rocks uh, aren't extremely important. They'd be nice. Because there's probably going to be a lot of switching in this battle. But other than that. That's it. So I will be right back with Sly's team. Alright guys, so here we are against Slyro. I'm not going to have the team upload because I don't have access to the Google document right now and I can't take a screenshot. So unfortunately, that's just going to have to wait. So, we're just waiting on Slyro. And of course, this is postcom. I'm going to choose to lead off with my Mamoswine and he leads off with his Electivire, which sort of is good for me but i make a really bad play here so he goes straight up low kick he ends up being choice scarfed he brings me down to my focus sash which is unfortunate because i really need my focus sash um i expected him to swap out into something which is why i went for the icicle shard i, I was expecting him to go into noivern maybe be, take the earthquake because that was the obvious place so now i'm gonna swap out and here we, here's where he goes for the low kick, which confirms that he is choice in some way. Uh, he would have gone for an electric move because it would have killed either way. Now he's going to swap in his Arcanine, which really does suck because it walls my Scizor completely. And I'm going to get a Bug Bite off, and it really does, like, literally nothing. That shows that it is defensive. Um, even with the Intimidate, it does... It would have done a little bit more than that because it's technician boosted. So now I'm going to go into Politoed. And he actually predicts me to do this. He makes a really good play. And he goes for the Sunny Day. And it's actually crazy because this caught me so off guard that I literally did not know what to do. I was so fucking scared. Um, okay, well, my, my viewer was freezing there for a second. He swaps out into Shaman. Um... 
and I just go straight for the ice beam, and he, that's actually, I, I played ballsy here, the, the, the ice beam was decent, so now I'm forced to switch out unless I go for another ice beam, um, he could leech seed, which I don't want, so I go straight up into my grass type counter, which is my Gudra, my Gudra is a beast, uh, he's got the, well, he actually goes for growth, which is scary, but at the same time, he really doesn't have anything for Gudra right now, unless the Arcanine comes in and goes for Flare Blitz. Uh, so, seeing it's got the, well, he does go for the Seed Flare, which is nullified by my, um, Zap Zipper. I go for a Flamethrower, and he, it gets a crit here, it doesn't matter too much because it still did a whole butt ton of damage even without it, because I, I, it's in the sun, like, it's still gonna do a crazy ton of damage. So now I go for another flamethrower after he brings in Entei. I should have gone for the Dragon Pulse predicting him because I knew he was going to swap out. He wasn't going to let Shaman die right off the bat because he, he knows Shaman was perfect for his team. But I did think about going for the Earthquake on this Arcanine and would have done a decent amount of damage. He goes for the Morning Sun and here it turns into a total star, star war. Sorry, I can't speak. I need some water, something to drink. Now I go for the Dragon Pulse knowing that it does the most to this ent well hipster ente he actually has dragon balls which isn't gonna do very much which is perfect for me uh if he had flare blitz that would have been a two hit ko if he was not invested uh he told me afterwards that this arcanine was more for the kingdra to catch me off guard with a swap out in case you know polytoad um Still, it's stall here. We're pretty much going to exchange stuff while I'm just trying to stall out his Morning Suns because I really don't have a lot for this Arcanine. And with the Morning Suns up, it does incredible work to my team. So now he goes into Fisticuffs, his Mega Meta Champ, and I go for Dragon Pulse. And it does about uh, more than half, I believe, to this Mega Meta Champ. Oh, yes. Yes, Mega Meta Champ. Fuck you. But, uh,. I'm going to swap into Politoed while he, I believe, goes for the Fake Out and Mega Evolves. I'm not too certain. But I get the Rain Up because it's decent for me. Uh, I believe... What, what do I go for here again? I, I honestly don't even remember at this point. He goes for the Fake Out. Of course, Fake Out's right there. Does major work to me. Damages me. Hurts me a lot. And he goes for a Drain Punch, which sucks. It sucks a lot because he's going to get all that health back. And I was predicting him to go for maybe a high jump kick, which I might have lived. Um, and the surf would have taken him out. But, and the drain punch. But it brought him down low enough to where I could swap out and sack off my scissor, which is completely fine with me. Scizor, I really don't need too much. I could totally just go for, you know, a bullet punch. But I don't live it, and he gets some HP back, which is perfect. Because now I can bring in, uh, I believe I bring in my Spray Bay, the Kingdra, yes. Now this scares him out. Uh, I go for a Draco Meteor, I believe. And it misses, which sucks a lot. But at the same time, I, I was happy that it missed. Because now I can go straight up for an Ice Beam and it'll kill this Shaman. And I don't have to worry about the stat drop and he can bring in something else and I can take it out with a Draco Meteor depending on what it is or a Surf if it brings in Entei uh, the Hipster Entei which is the Arcanine <laughs> um, it brings in Kilowatt and even though this thing is Choice Scarfed which he told me later after the match it will not outspeed N uh, nothing on his team Choice Scarfed outspeeds a Swift from Kingdra in the rain so Kingdra is able to kill the Kilowatt here which I actually named Kilowatt I actually named him um, I named him for Sly. But he sees, you know, I am Life Orb. He brings in Ice Ice Baby, which I know I need to swap out here because I cannot take him out with a Draco Meteor at this point. At most, Draco Meteor does 80 to 113% uh, to him. So I go into my Gudra, who's uh, sassy and can take this Draco Meteor extremely well. Look, it barely does half like if i didn't have hp already gone it would have hurt a lot so i go straight up for a dragon pulse i believe and he brings in his hipster entei which here's gonna be another stall war um i believe he goes for the sunny day after i take i do this dragon pulse 
And my rain stops, so he actually doesn't go for the sunny. Uh, he goes for the morning sun, which kind of sucks for me. Because this still, this still is going to be turning into a stall war. And this, this battle was actually 43 or 47 turns. I can't remember, but it was like 45 minutes long. That's why I don't post comedies. Uh, that's why I don't live com these battles. Because it just, it's way, way too long to post com them. I mean, not post com, live com them. And, you know, I don't have the greatest computer ever. So rendering takes a bit. He goes for the sunny day just to get his morning suns up. And I'm just praying for a crit here. Like, there's really nothing I can do uh, except stall him out with a Dragon Pulse. I know he can't really do much to me back because he has only Dragon Pulse and not, you know, the, uh, what was it? The Flare Blitz, which would have taken me out in two shots, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, I'm grateful he doesn't have a Flare Blitz. Uh, uh, there we go. I get the crit there. But he just goes straight up for another Morning Sun. I, at this point, I'm just trying to stall out his Morning Suns and get Entei down to a point where either my Mammoth Swine can come take it out or my Rain is up and I can go for a Surf. But even in the Rain, um, I, I found this out after uh, a certain event in the battle. Uh, even in the Rain, or even in the Sun, uh, a Surf does 60 to 70% to an Entei. Uh, an Arcanine, unless it's especially defensive. Uh, he goes for another Morning Sun, which really, it's really stalling. I, I'd speed this up, but you know, I'm I'm messing with uh, Sony Vegas right now in my new computer to do some work, and he just goes for a Dragon Pulse, which brings me down to 40 HP. I go for another Dragon Pulse. We're just exchanging Dragon Pulses at this point. Uh, a lot of this battle is actually stall. Uh, Sly's team is really stally, unfortunately. Like, Arcanine is a giant problem to me. And I go for another Dragon Pulse. And I think at this point, uh, he had run out of Morning Suns. And he goes for a Dragon Pulse. And it actually gets a crit here, which is fine. Because now I can straight up bring in, uh, I believe my... What was it? My Mammoth Swine, that's right. My Mammoth Swine. And I can go straight up for an Earthquake. Uh, I go for the Earthquake, and he swaps out to preserve his Entei because he, know, he knows he needs it. And the Earthquake does a decent amount to this Kyurem. However, it only does, I believe, 20 to 30%. I'm not 100% certain. Uh, that, that was around 35%, maybe. 40% at most. And I'm going to swap out and go into my Politoed while he goes for the Ice Beam, I believe. And I live it on 12, I think. I live it on 12, and he does major damage to me. So Ice Beam is going to be doing a lot of... So, uh, yeah, I live on 12, and he's just going to go straight up for the Roost here while I go for the Endeavor because he knows he needs his Kiram be at full HP to live a Draco Meteor from, um, um, from, ah, what the hell, from my Kingdra, why am I so scatterbrained right now, from my Kingdra, and this is another stall, it also turns into mind games, he could, he's also trying to stall out rain here, which is important, but I'm damp rock, so, I go for a surf here, I believe, just in case he decides to swap out sacking something, um, I should have just kept going for Endeavor. Uh, at this point, it really doesn't matter because uh, he goes for another Endeavor, and I mean, I go for another Endeavor, and he goes for another Roost, but it's still it's still extremely stally at this point. Um, it's just mind games right now, and I go for another Endeavor, and I decide to, you know, bring him down to 12 HP, and of course he has leftovers, so it's going to bring him a little bit over, I believe it brings up 1 16th of your HP. Now I swap out, and he actually told me he was thinking about going for the Draco Meteor here, but he decides to go for a safe play and go for Roost. And this is perfect, because now I can go straight up for my Draco Meteor and take this thing out, which is amazing. It's fucking amazing. And I was praying that I don't get a low roll here, but Draco Meteor is able to do major damage to this Kyurem, and I'm able to take it out. If he was Choice Scarfed, he still wouldn't have outsped. Um, and I get a crit, so I don't think the crit mattered, actually. 
Uh, I still think I had a min of 65%. I think he was lower than 60. Now he brings in Entei. Uh, just trying to stall out the rain, the hipster Entei. Here's where I make a misclick. I make a misclick and go for a Draco meter. Fortunately, that misclick misses. Now he goes for a Dragon Pulse. And it sucks because I could have gone for Surf and it would have taken him out. I don't know why I... Uh, also, I was looking at Calcs, and I still thought the Kyurem was alive. I, I thought I had changed the Calcs to Arcanine, but I didn't. So I, I pretty much wasted this Kingdra here. I could have gone for Surf. Um, Mega Metacham, I could have, you know, gotten faked out or bullet punched. Either way, it sucks. But now it's at the point where I can bring in my Mamoswine. Uh, and just go straight up for an Earthquake and take it out. I mean, he could have predicted that and gone into the Noivern, but at the same time, an Ice Shard bodies the Noivern, so he had really no option here. So, uh, I believe he brings in his Mega Meta Champ. Yep, Fisticuffs. And I swap into my Politoed Sacking it. No, I need, knowing I need to keep the Mamoswine around just in case his uh, Noivern is Choice Scarf, because I still have Costello, the Honchko in the back. Which can take out this Mega Metacham because I am Choice Scarfed. And uh, he goes straight up for Drain Punch and he's going to enjoy that nice 6 HP back. Amazing. 6 HP. Totally matters in the end. So now Politoed's going to go down, which kind of sucks. I could have preserved a 3 0 here if I had just gone for the Surf with the uh, Kingdra. I go straight up for a Brave Bird here. Of course, it's going to take out his. Mega Metacham, I believe it one shots. And now I'm going to get the Moxie boost up. Now, I was fearing that his, um, that his, uh, what the hell, his Noivern was Choice Scarf, and SoundCloud, I actually like that name for Noivern, uh, but I was fearing it was Choice Scarf, and it turns out it isn't, at this point I thought it was Focus Sash, but it turns out I think he was Choice Specs, maybe, but that's gonna be the end of the battle there, a 2-0 in my favor, go check out Sly, and that's gonna be the end of the battle.